welcome back to camper renovation video. Renovation is a live word. I don't think it needs a lot of work. We put some fiberglass on one end of the roof and then we are working on re-waterproofing it and we need to replace the air conditioner. And I think there's like one pipe under the sink that needs to be replaced and all of like that outside accessory points. Um, which I've already bought and we're probably gonna put those on today, hopefully. We gotta make sure that the fridge works if we need to replace it with a cooler. The people that we bought our camper from are friends of ours and so they're letting us keep it on their property while we're working on it. Today we're working on filling in the gaps of where we put the fiberglass, so Jacob's putting some hardening foam in there. I was really hangry this day by the time that we got out here. I have a bad habit of waking up and being excited to do something and then not eating. So I was mad. Um, thankfully, Jacob suggested that we bring sandwich stuff. So the first thing that I did was made a sandwich. <laughs> Now I'm just wiping off the top of the camper because I'm about to paint it with some flex paint. We decided to go with flex paint because I thought it would be the easiest to just paint it with a little rubber coating. And if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. But I think that this is all it should need. We both really enjoyed painting this on. Also, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. I was surprised by how far you could stretch it. And one can did the full top of the camper. And we did two coats, so two cans. I'm scraping every bit I can out of this because it was so expensive. I just really enjoy painting. It's my favorite part of anything ever. It's my favorite part of life is the fact that we get to paint things. We have the privilege of being able to paint things. But Jacob's going over the seams here. Our pop-up camper did have the seam and the whatever the topper is made out of, and that can be bad because it can lead to water damage. But that's another reason we went with the flex paint. I was hoping that because it's a rubber paint, it would be able to fill in all of those gaps and then the rain would just kind of run off a bit. Also, I just want to defend myself in this stupid position I'm in. I was just trying not to touch the wet paint. <laughs> but it looks so bad for my back to be doing that. So I apologize to anybody that cares about the well-being of my spine.
lost my bounce. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Excited to keep making videos as soon as we can make changes to the camper.